Hey, what up you guys? This is Gato Perro with not a review or a stop motion, but a collection video. I have been wanting to do this for a while because I feel like I finally got my room situated to where how I want my collection to look like. And I've been busy putting up the figures for about a week and the different poses and positions I, I would want them to be in. So, without further ado, let's get started with this first main shelf right here. We have our The Batman Collection. We have Batman, a Bruce Wayne, Penguin, Mr. Freeze, the Riddler, Killer Croc, and Clayface. We have done a video on that. The Man of Steel section with Superman, Feora, and General Zod all look really cool. Little Spider-Man right there from a cake. Uh, Marvel Universe Avengers. You can see up there we have a Green Goblin, Magneto, um, Stealth Armor, Iron Man. Little picture of uh, the entire Marvel Universe in the back. Spider-Man on the, on the shoulders of Hulk. Captain America, Thor, Iron Man, and some Hydra soldiers. Move down here to the Spider-Man section. We've got an entire army of Spider-Man. From left to right, we'll go with the Spider-Man Classic Spider-Man from Series 1. Uh, Spider-Man Origins re-released Black Suit with the gray slash silver paint job. Marvel Universe Black Suit 2-pack from Magneto. Amazing Spider-Man first release, 6-inch figure. Uh, Spider-Sense Spider-Man with a broken arm. Ultimate Spider-Man from the TV show as well as Spectacular. Big time Spider-Man first appearance. Uh, the Marvelous... Snapshot Spider-Man, $20.99 from Marvel Universe, some Snap-on Rocket Armor Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2 movie figure, Spider-Man 2 movie figure again, Spider-Man 1, Battle Damage Peter Parker figure, and the black suit from the Spider-Man Fierce's Foes Wave. Here we have the first Batman section, here we have New 52 Batman from DC Collectibles, Arkham City Joker from Mattel, uh, Mr. Freeze from the Batman Power Attack line with some Batman posters and my custom bat signal which I do have a video on if you're interested. And here we got my Dark Knight Rises Movie Masters with Catwoman, Batman, Bane, Dark Knight Scarecrow, Dark Knight Joker, Bank Thug, Harvey Dent, some Batman Begins figures in the back as well, and a Commissioner Gordon from the first two-pack with the Vigilante Batman, I guess. Here's my Green Lantern section, but this is more like the movie setup with Tom Array, Hydra Blasting Blasted Sinestro, who is using a base as a shield with his lantern at the bottom. Here we have a Guardian. And they're all supposed to be fighting Parallax. Here we see Green Lantern with a Power Fist Construct punching Parallax in the face. Which is the Builder figure, which is not completed at all. We have Abin Sur and Kilowog. New 52 High Jordan. We're fighting against the Anti-Monitor, the Builder figure. And here we have Sinestro about to beat up on Hector Hammond. The final bottom shelf on here features the entire villain section. Which there is a bigger one, but this is the secondary one. It has Punisher. The Juggernaut from Spider-Man Classic, known as an 8-Wave, a uh, tiny Dr. Octopus, a uh, Spider-Man 2 movie, Dr. Octopus, a Spider-Man villain section from the Spectacular Spider-Man TV show, Rhino and Shocker, and Sandman, Taskmaster holding a gun, my army of Venoms over here from the Spider-Man Classic, known as an 8 release, as well as the Scorpion Venom, and the Spider-Man 3 movie, Marvel Legends Venom, with Jameson on the front with a Venom bobblehead. And the lizard. On this side of the room, I have this Mega Blast section. This is the Oscar Battle Tower playset with Spidey, Lizard, and all his glory of the helicopter and everything. A Spider Man 1 movie poster. A Mega Blocks robotic Spider Man from the first Amazing Spider Man movie. Here we have the Oscorp Laboratory with a Peter Parker head on there. Looks As we're really about nice. to move on to the main shelf, here we have the Marvel Select Amazing Spider Man right there hanging off the wall. Looks really cool with the Amazing Spider Man poster. We have some boxes right here. They are empty, but the reason why I keep them is I like to look at the art on the side of them and on the back and everything. I think they look really cool. And in case I ever decide to go man on card with my figures, just put them back inside. But now we'll move on to the main shelf of the room where we display all of our main figures. This is a brand new section that I was talking about. Here we have our Bat Cave section, which is, you know, it's kind of just thrown in there. I felt like uh, I don't want to waste the shelf. So here we have what's supposed to be just Batman, but then we recently got a Aquaman. The lighting's a bit too bright in here. I'm sorry. But yeah, it's supposed to be like kind of Batman's coming out of his back cave, but then we got Aquaman. So I thought we might as well make kind of like a, um, like an area where the Justice League would, um, have their meetings and like they just heard that there's a bad guy out there or something and now they have to run out to save the city or something like that. Kind of, but this is a Batman and Robin Batcave, you can tell because of Mr. Freeze on there from the movie. And those bats are from the Morbius Spider Man Classics figure. And thanks a lot to Daniel. Our older brother for giving us his Batmobile, which is completely die cast. And this is a The Batman Batmobile from the TV series. Down here we have our main Marvel shelf, which is, this is our movie, Fantastic Four. This is the Jessica Alba Invisible Woman with the um, Human Torch, The Thing, and Mr. Fantastic, who is stretchy. And he can't stand by himself, not leaning on anything, which is pretty incredible. 
Over here we have our main Avengers shelf. We have Captain America, Spider-Man 2 movie figure, X-Force Wolverine, Bucky Camp Hyperion, which I'm not sure if he's Avenger or not. Uh, World War Hulk, Marvel Legends Thor, Movie Hawkeye, and Movie Iron Man. So this is just a mashup of all the uh, comics and movie figures spilled into one Avengers section. And here is kind of our villain section with Iron Patriot from Marvel Legends Iron Man 3, Ultron, Death, and Thanos. Here we have the Spider-Man villain section where he is getting beat up by his entire rogues gallery. Here we have Spider-Man just really trying to get away with his web. Looks really nice. Venom holding back on his head while Doc Ock is holding on to him by his torso. And we have Sandman holding on to him by his leg, not letting the bug get away. Spider-Man Classics Mysterio with the movie main Spider-Man Lizard, Iron Patriot looking on, Morbius. We have Spider-Man Classics re-release Hasbro Carnage. That's so why I mentioned Spider-Man Classic Sandman, Craven getting kicked, at least one of them is getting beat down. Um, Doc Ock from the Ultimate Spider-Man TV series, The Beetle, Scorpion, and The Rhino. Man, this is, a, this is a really cool display. I'm really proud of how this came out. On this shelf is what I call my main Spider-Man 2 Marvel Legends section because it features all of the figures from the line, except for Blackhead, but I will soon. Here is Spidey web swinging away with Beetle coming in for the attack. Electro shooting his electric bolts on the back and the awesome carnage that we got from Hasbro. It looks really cool. We have Superior Spider-Man up there. And down here is kind of the Iron Man 3 movie section with Iron Patriot getting attacked by Ultron. Still defending himself with his turret at his own face. And kind of Iron Man coming in for the safe of Rhodey. But he's also getting attacked by Titanium Man. So I think it looks really cool. And here's like an overall shot of it. I think it looks really awesome. Now we move on to the Batman section. The secondary one featuring most of the DC collectibles figures. Or at least the 7 inch Batman skill ones. Here we have the Arkham Orange Joker and Batman. He's running away from Batman laughing all the way. I think it looks really awesome. Here we have our, our Mattel Robin. But he's in a skill of DC collectibles. And I think it came out better than the actual DC Direct one. So I think it looks really nice. Bane busting through a brick wall, looking menacing like. Some more detail going on. And then inside we do have just Scarecrow and Nightwing, which I did recently get that Scarecrow. But I do hope to get more of these collectibles line and possibly fill this up with more villains. Okay, so this is just an overall shot of the entire collection, at least on this shelf. I hope you enjoyed this collection video. And I guess shout out to Gideon, who was actually a personal person I know who, um... I uh, was interested in seeing my collection, so thanks a lot to him for actually viewing my videos, just as I know a lot of you guys do. Thanks for commenting and likes and everything and subscribing. And I hope you enjoyed this collection video. And I'm sorry for not doing any stop motions recently. Uh, as I said, I spent some time um, putting up the shelf. Uh, there obviously, there is school stuff, and to be honest, I have been kind of lazy, but I will get one out in about, give it two weeks or so. But anyway, this has been Gato Perro. Please stay tuned for the reviews and more of a stop motions.